go. Simone, you were supposed to meet me. We're gonna be late for science, hurry up. I made six sets before school and I just finished another three. Oh, did you remember to book the 3D printer after school time slot? My time's maxed out. I forgot, I'm sorry. <sighs> Lana, the volleyball team just put in a big order. I'm making them to match their uniforms and I told the captain they'd have them end of day today. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You think you might be spending a little too much time on these? No, I'm not. It's just everyone wants them. And it's the first time that I've made anything that worked and that people wanted. That is not true. There was the uh, robot that uh, wasn't there. No. See, it's true. Look. I'm finishing what I started for once, and the new Simone is a finishing machine. You should put that on a t-shirt. A 3D printed t-shirt. <laughs> Do not start 3D printing t-shirts. Well, what are you doing? Oh, hey, just choosing my thermal plastic. Red it is. Uh, I was just about to load the printer. I still have a minute left in my time slot. You have science in one minute. Sorry, I booked the printer. I'm printing my Jackson. Uh... What is your Jackson? My Jackson action figure. He's gonna look great in here. What does it do? Why does everything have to do something? He just is. Oh, so exactly like you. Shouldn't he have like a superpower? Isn't that the point? Sure, he can see that Principal Ravelli is at the door and he's motioning to someone. And that someone is not me for once. Simone? Me? And the new Simone is in trouble already. Figures. Simone, did you see Jackson's post? Ha! For once, he's actually right. Wait, I gotta let the dog out. Hey, 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 I've been texting you. Mom said I could just come up. Did she mention how mad she was? I forgot to wear this today. What are you making? Uh, something I've been working on for a while. Not really anything yet. Simone, are you okay? Are you in trouble for monopolizing the 3D printer or...? Principal Ravelli asked me to head the team that submits to the Canada 2067 Science Expo in two weeks. Uh, actually? Yeah. I know you applied for it, and the principal called me in to ask why I didn't apply and would I love to, and I said, yeah, can you believe it? No, I, I mean, yeah, that's amazing, that's good for you. She said she wanted someone to lead the team who loved trying new things. I thought my drone delivery was a disaster, but apparently it was thinking outside the box. It was both. I'm nervous and excited. I don't know if I can do this. School wouldn't have picked you if they didn't have confidence in you. I know you can do it. Are you heard it wasn't you? No, no. Well, a little. Maybe. Principal Ravelli asked me to pick my second in command. Really? I, I would love to do that. I mean, you were just asking me, right? Of course. Yay, Dean! <laughs> Hey, um, I'm still a little slow with this thing on. Could you send an email out to anyone interested to come to the makerspace tomorrow after school? Consider it done. I've been trying to come up with ideas, but all the ones I've come up with don't work. Don't worry, we can figure this out together. Yeah, but I think as head of the team, I'm supposed to come up with something, aren't I? Okay, email sent. You know, just because you're head of the team doesn't mean you have to figure out everything on your own. That's why you have a team. But won't everyone expect me to come up with something? Whoa, getting lots of responses. What are they saying? Oh, uh, congrats, Lana. You'll be a great team leader. Uh, <sighs> Lana, I can't wait to work with you. Work with you? What about me? Simone, it's okay. They, they just assumed. I knew no one would think I could run the team. And with you sending out the email, great first move. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Sorry you thought me sending an email was stupid. See you tomorrow. 
I want to. You're not stupid. I'm stupid. Duh. Great second ah, move. Did I miss anything? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Nothing. I'm just nervous. You look like you're a supply teacher. I'm dressing like a leader. When the 2067 Expo team gets here, I'll seem, you know, in charge. Yeah, who says? All the search engine auto-completes when you type in, leaders should wear. I have so many questions about your life. For example. Oh, you all came together. Yeah, our lockers are in the same hall, so is that a problem? Okay, so it's amazing that we can all do 2067 Expo together. You may or may not know, but on the day, we'll have two hours to complete a super fun tech project from scratch to show what we think stuff will be like in 50 years, right? Right. Thanks, Lana, my right hand. You sent in a bunch of great ideas, which gave us a lot of great ideas. Neil just emailed in one more, so I will forward that to you. Thanks. I know Principal Ravelli really wants us to work on super fun kids in the real world ideas, so I think we should develop this. What is it, a flashlight? So you know how people have already figured out hand-powered flashlights? I was thinking we could put these tiles that conduct electricity to the bulb into a 3D printed housing we will design. So it's a flashlight. Yep. But since your palm needs to touch these tiles, which conduct energy from your hand, 3D printing the housing will let us customize the design. So it's ergonomic, useful, environmentally friendly. What's not to love? And what am I missing? Maybe it just feels a bit safe? Like, flashlights have already been invented. I was thinking that we could work on how gaming and apps can be useful. We use them all the time, so how will we use them in the future? Like the one that I used for your wrist? But if we're talking future sustaining energy, all that important stuff, I think we should go flashlight. But if Ravelli wants super new, fun kids in the real world stuff, I think gaming's a no-brainer, right? But our goal is to win the expo, so I think we need something that is kind of a brainer, don't you think? Guess we need a little more time. Yeah. You guys can go. We'll update you before the next meeting. One of us will send you an email telling you what our direction is. It'll be me. I'll send it. Mm, no. So, is this light good enough? It's okay. Bevan, do you have anything to diffuse the light? Welcome to my room, you guys. Oh, you said come on over. Should we not make ourselves at home? Okay, Jackson, let's do this. All right. Yes, only one more to go. One of what? You, us. Hashtag, row it loves Jackson. Did you seriously take a picture with everyone in the school in one day, minus you, so stand up, please. Pass. What? It's not of all of row it without you. And Simone did it, see? Where is she anyway? Oh, uh, I don't know. I guess she just did something after our expo meeting, maybe. Like what? Call my Nana to see if she has any more exciting ideas for your expo <laughs> project? Anyway, Bevan, let's make it a double-decker. You go get the bunny ears and Jackson, I'll go... Jackson? Absolutely not. Forget it. I have a dentist appointment. Uh, stick it to the man. You couldn't say it was fun, could you? Come on, Bevan. Double bunnies? Absolutely not. No. What? Why? Because somehow I don't trust the combo of Jackson and pictures. Okay, Bev, this is more than a hashtag. This is a movement. Cool, but I'm not budging. What? Please. Nope. You're doing this to make me crazy. Yes, I am. Still a very cool hashtag, just with every student except one. Not fair. I can see and smell them. You're playing two senses at once. Yeah, wearing you down? Delicious. Not fair. I can still smell them. 
And I will never publish a photo without Bevan's express knowledge and approval, including captions. Captions? That's way too far, Bevan. That's my freedom of speech. Offers off the table in five, four, three, two, I one. I counter. I counter. And don't get gravy in my hair. I'll try. Hey, Simone, just see this. Can you get her? Yeah. What are you guys doing? No, just Jacksoning at its best. What are you doing? Uh, nothing. I'm just hanging oh, out. You got gravy in my hair, Bevan. No, I didn't. They're mostly just... Yeah, I did get gravy in your hair, man. Dear Principal Ravelli, an expo update for you. Though I chose Lana to be my second in command, I've realized something. And I've made a tough decision. 